Greetings to all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I, Aaron Devapriyam, servant of God, coming to you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God's people say, Amen and Amen. What a privilege in Christ Jesus. Amen. Shall we all bow down our heads and close our eyes and entering into the presence of God. Gracious Heavenly Father, Almighty God, we thank you and praise you, Father. We lift up our hearts towards to the realms of heaven, Father God. You are the mighty God. You are wonder-walking God. You are the king of the universe. You are the most high God. Lord of hosts, we thank you and praise you, Father. Father God, lead us and guide us, Master God, to meditate your word about Joseph's faith. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Master God, Father God, every brother and sister and child, Master God, make them to Master God. Cover them with the blood of Christ, Lord. So that to listen and have this penetration of the word of God and Master God lifting up to Master God for our hearts towards to the heaven, Father Lord. Lead us and guide us. We rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. And Master God touch us with the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and Amen. Praise the Lord. Dear friends, today Joseph's faith. Praise God. Joseph, the son of Jacob. Praise God from Rachel. Dear friend, Joseph life, when you see here in Hebrew chapter 11, verse 22, as we are going through the Hebrew 11, all the God servants of their faith. By faith, Joseph, when he was dying, made mention of the departure of the children of Israel and gave instructions concerning his bones. Praise God. Same like Jacob. The last uh, dying time. He blessed children of Joseph. Now the same Joseph. In his dying time. He mentioned of the departure of the children of Israel. And gave instruction concerning about his bones. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Dear friends, Joseph's faith sticking on to the, his bones. And he keeps a, a hope. That's what this faith, Joseph's faith, gives a hope in God. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the fruit of faith is hope. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen and Amen. So when you look at the faith of Joseph, we know Joseph right from the beginning. Joseph is a very much fond of his father. Joseph is, he is uh, totally deceived by his brothers and they throw him into the pit. And Joseph from the pit, again the same brothers took him out and sold to the Egyptians. Then Joseph, he has come to the prison. Joseph, he received the, a great revelation, the gift of God, the power of the Holy Ghost to interpret the dreams. And Joseph, from there, the dreams, then he has come to the priesthood, to the palace, from pit to the palace. Then Joseph, he became a king into the branch of Egypt. Then Joseph, we are seeing that he got a wonderful two kids. And in his lifetime, one important thing, Joseph, he escaped and he ran off out of the temptation when he was youth. And that was a great thing where he put his faith in God. Amen. From there, we are seeing Joseph. Then all the way, his whole family has come back along with Jacob. And Joseph, he made united with his family. And then now, he exploring his faith in his bones. Praise God. What is this bones, my dear friend? What are the bones? Bones. We know the body. The finally leftover thing is the bones. All flesh will go off to the mud. The bones will be left over. 
and he is saying my bones to keep bury back in Canaan where his fathers have been buried so that is the we are seeing exactly the promised land Canaan and his desire was bury in the place where his forefathers Joseph also might have listened from Jacob his father and the blessings of God from Abraham Isaac and Jacob praise God and he has got a hope and keeping that hope through bones why bones because one or other day we will rise up have that resurrection so let me let, let me bury it in the place of my fathers because he he knows that that we will come back again the resurrection that is the spirit of god speaking to joseph and he knows that he heard before to remember that jacob also says please bury me in canaan so joseph he himself along with uh, all his brothers they went and buried him so we see uh, jacob when he died immediately he has taken with his body and buried there that was there joseph as a king but now he realized about the same like his father he knows that the truth the secret the mystery and that was the resurrection praise the lord somebody say amen today our bones today ourselves have that same faith in christ jesus that we will rise up and walk with the transformed the spirit of god transformed bodies and we will be lifted up and with the rapture praise god and at the time of even when the time of comes when the second coming of god to earth after tribulation again we see that all the old testaments all the people all the people will have that resurrection of the believers of god praise the lord and that's what joseph is realized about his faith now in this his faith is extraordinary in the resurrection one day we will rise up and lift it up and getting into that great millennium the rule of Christ Jesus and then go to eternity forever and ever and ever amen so when joseph he died israelites they embalmed embalmed his body and they kept safe of his bones and of course joseph bones were stayed over and over more than 400 years in all these israelites they suffered under the slave ship in egypt then they carried when moses god taken the deliverance through moses when he traveled of course joseph bones were carried through the red sea through the wilderness and reached the promised land they came back and came in the same place they buried praise the lord so his hope and he kept everything and the word which he left with his israelites when he was dying the last word what he said surely god will visit you praise god amen somebody say amen because god will visit you yes god visited us for Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. So that is what the hope he kept Joseph. And of course we know that in Ezekiel chapter 37 we are seeing that the dry bones the dry bones will get the spirit of God. That is the revelation God has given to prophet Ezekiel and the dry bones. So Joseph he kept faith in bones through Christ Jesus 
he kept his faith in Christ Jesus and into the bones he has showed that explore thing. Praise God. Dear friends, if we see Joseph in Hebrew chapter 11 verse 22, what we saw Joseph and there's Joseph life, we see Genesis chapter 15 verse 15 to 26. So by faith, Joseph, he mentioned Israelites saying that God will visit you and please take my bones bury in the same place where my fathers and that is Canaan. So the Spirit of God is saying that that is the promised land. Praise the Lord. Dear friends, Joseph faith it gave an extraordinary faith when he was fallen in the pit. He might have prayed to God. So the people who thrown him into the pit, the same people taken him up. That is what God does the great miracle in our lifetime, dear friend. Says, Amen. When the devil sometimes make traps us and make us to fall down. But that falling down itself make it beneficial for us. And converted into the blessing so that we will rise up and walk again. Somebody say Amen. So Joseph, he was able to resist the temptation. When the woman tempted him. But he said, how can I do this? Sin against my living God. And he had a wonderful uh, gift from God through the Holy Spirit. And that is the interpretation of dreams. So that made Joseph an extraordinary person in Egypt. And that was the key, in fact, made him to become a king. When Pharaoh himself faced that, the power of God in his dreams. Then Joseph, we saw that he forgiven brothers in the situation. The brothers thrown him, they tried to kill him even. But same people when they have come, when he became king, he could have killed him, killed them. But he kept in such a way that he has forgiven his brothers. And even with his uh, God had given power and knowledge, he could be able to survive in the famine when it came to Egypt. But he was able to with the knowledge and everything. And also he made all Israelites to come and take the shelter and gave that all food God provided. And that's what Joseph did. And what was that? That was Joseph's faith in Christ Jesus. Praise God. So faith, this is the faith made Joseph to have a hope in God. Praise God. So God's people, that is what it happens. Their faith, it makes, a, the hope is the fruit of faith for God's people. The believers of Christ Jesus. So faith gives that an extraordinary thing. Uh, in Genesis chapter 50 verse uh, 17, we, we see that Joseph, uh, he cried, he wept when his father died. So he even e e Egyptians also, they cried along with Joseph. And that made in such a way and through Joseph's faith, God made united his family. Praise the Lord. So Joseph's faith, it made in such a way the uniteness with the family. And that extraordinary thing had happened. And of course, Joseph's children, Ephraim and Manasseh, they have been blessed as well by Jacob. His grandfather, praise the Lord. So their grandfather Jacob blessed Ephraim and Manasseh as well. That was extraordinary. Dear friends, here we can see that Joseph's faith, when he kept that, I will rise, that hope, I will rise in God. And that was the First resurrection for all believers of Christ Jesus and blessed ones 
in the Old Testament so are all the fear of God, where the Holy Spirit guides in the same manner what Jesus too was in Old Testament as well. Ultimately, that is the Trinity we are seeing there. The power of God, the Holy Spirit God works and everything, Red Sea, all the wilderness and showing the promised land and all these things. Of course, we have seen that. The Father God, Son of God and the Holy Spirit right from Genesis to Revelation. Amen. So here we can see when Joseph, he raised it and he gave the, a word for saying that God will visit you. So what was it? Take my, God will visit you, take my bones to Canaan. So what is the interconnection? God will visit, take my bones to Canaan. So bones to Canaan, we will rise up the resurrection. God will come, Christ Jesus has come. Then again God will come to the mid-air. Again God will come to on earth to the Mount Olives. And that is after tribulation. So we will raise up. So dry bones, resurrection, God is coming. The Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ. So Christ, our bones. Christ, the resurrection. Christ is the first fruit of resurrection. So Christ Jesus and Resurrection of believer. That is what the hope Joseph faith made it. Somebody say Amen. Praise the Lord. So ultimately what he showed. He mentioned that. Keep there. So what had happened? 400 years. They stored bones of Joseph. And afterwards the deliverance has come. So God, he made a wonderful a revelation. The hope he given to Israelites. Joseph faith made a hope in God. Our hope is Christ. And that's what Joseph, he explored the hope. What we have seen. For our sake, for our transgressions, he has been put on cross. The punishment he has taken, falling in the pit. But with the great revelation, and he became the high priest, and that's what is the border. They even they put the king of Jews. Joseph became king. And Christ Jesus, in everybody's inspiration, physically and psychologically and spiritually. Yes, of course, he is the king of whole human, king of the universe. Somebody say a man. And he left a great revelation. So that's what Joseph, he made it in such a way. It is, he made it a growth in Israelites after the death of Joseph. So that what had happened? They have lavishly, they had a plenty of food in Egypt. And that made the next new king came to Egypt. Who doesn't know about Joseph? And there it ends the Genesis 50th chapter. Then we are going to the Exodus. So Exodus beginning you can see the new king comes who doesn't know about Joseph. And he saw all Israelites. They are flourished. Why that flourishment came? Why that growth came? That is what uh, uh, made uh, Joseph after his death. There is a, a wonderful flourishment. And what was that? And that is the growth of Israel. They multiplied. They flourished. In Egypt. Exodus chapter 1 verse 6 to 7 if you see there is a, a wonderful growth came and that is flourished and prospered Israel. So that was the growth and that was the hope which he came through Joseph's faith. And secondly we are seeing that uh, they faced a severe trial consequence because the new king came, what if these people are enjoying so much? And they were there in the Goshen, in the part of Egypt. And they got, in Genesis 15, 13, we can see that there is a 400 years they are put under the bondage. So slave ship. So it looks like all growth and flourish, everything gone. And they become slaves. So, 
after growth in Christ Jesus, we will face the trials and temptations. And trials and temptations, it comes, it doesn't mean that the growth has gone. It doesn't mean that the next hope is not there. Our hope is in Christ Jesus, my dear friend. And that's what Joseph, he has come to that. And now, we are seeing, after that, the God chosen person, the great, the deliverer, Moses, then God led them, the great, making all the things, the ten plagues comes there. And then God filed so many things there to show them and get that Passover. Then they had a, the blood of lamb come upon them. And they escaped through that blood. And that is the grace of God. Then moved on to the Red Sea. From there it begins to the promised land. Amen. So that deliverance next. After trial, the deliverance they got. This is what happened, my dear friend. Joseph, he put the faith. God will visit you. And he will go that. Then what is that God will visit? Now so far God was visited, they visited uh, God visited Israelites in so many ways. Like a fire cloud. And there's a fire. All the things came. Then God showed the mighty things the great through the staff of Moses. The miracles. And then Red Sea divide. Wilderness. Manna. And then the birds quills then all the way they were going and water marrow water and bitter to the tasty then deserts moving moving heading and there is so the river Jordan crossing it from land amen and that's what where where the Abraham Isaac and Jacob buried so till then time, they carried these bones. Can you believe that? More than 400 years they were storing that bones. Embalmed Joseph's body. And he, according to Joseph's faith, my bones should rest there. And it has been fulfilled. Not one day, two day, one month, two months, or one or two years. More than 400 years, my dear friend. Amen. That is the desire of a believer. Today our, de our desire is the same thing. That means our bones are kept. The soul kept in peace. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. So we can see there he made the deliverance. Now what is the deliverance? God is visited. As he said, God visited Genesis chapter 50 verse 24. Joseph said, God will visit you. Yes, God visited. And he born in Bethlehem. Somebody say amen. Christ Jesus, he born in Bethlehem. And he lived 33 and of years. He taught all the things. He made a wonderful, beautiful teachings and great miracles. And he stood against all the devil acts. He rebuked the devil, the evil spirit, Satan. He commanded, Satan, leave this place right now. Then God has done a wonderful sacrifice on the cross. And he died for our sins and transgressions. And he put in the tomb. And he risen again. Amen. The resurrection power. And he gave the reassurance. For every one of us. That whoever believeth in me. They too will rise up again. That hope. Joseph's faith came my dear friend. Somebody say amen. So that's what the wonderful thing. For Joseph's faith. He knows. Through the spirit of God. One day we will rise up again. And that is what the rapture. 
So rapture comes for the church. So church will go, church will grow, and church will be persecuted, and church will have deliverance. Praise the Lord. That's what Joseph's faith. We can see that Israel will grow. Israel will be under trial, the slave ship, and Israel will have the deliverance and get the promised land. Amen. Today our spirit, our soul, everything goes according to this will, will of God, my dear friend. And that's what our exodus is nothing but our deliverance from the bondage of sin. And then come out, born again, through the blood of Christ Jesus is every believer's exodus. We are coming out of the same way. And that's what we are seeing that. The hope, the hope we are a live in hope by faith. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, my bones, Joseph said, my bones, come on. And that is what the bones, it, come, it, it, it has come. So, uh, the bones is saying that to bury in the place of Canaan, place of his fathers, place of where his fathers were buried, praise God. And God will visit you. So that reassurance, he has given a wonderful assurance for Israelite people. So Jacob, he, he says that, uh, do not bury me here, but in Jerusalem, praise the Lord. So where, when Jerusalem, because we will rise up from there, and that is what our new Jerusalem, we will go to the eternity. Praise the Lord. So whoever they die in faith in Christ Jesus, they can assure of themselves as Jesus said that we will rise again. And they will never see the second death. Amen. So Joseph, they put in the coffin. And that is the sign of hope. So when we die, we will put in a coffin. That means we will be taking in the rest. And all believers, of course, in paradise. And we will take the part of first resurrection. Praise the Lord. So Jacob, when he died, he immediately moved to the promised land. Whereas Joseph, when he died, he has been put for a while. And that's what we are seeing. That. So these two, when you observe, immediately going to the paradise, the Christ, believers of Jesus Christ. That's a great privilege, my dear friend. So we are the one, the first, whoever believes in Christ Jesus and died, whoever believes in Christ, when the time of Christ coming to the midair with the trumpet sound, the rapture, so the first people are raising is the believers of Jesus Christ. What a privilege, my dear friend. And from all the Old Testament, then the people, they will be raising when the Jesus Christ coming to the often tribulation. And they all will be raised. So they kept for a while. And that's what Joseph. So Jacob and Joseph, Jacob immediately to the promised land. Joseph, after more than 400 years plus, then he reached the promised land. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's what a wonderful thing he shows. So it shows that uh, it is uh, a reassurance. Even when thief asked next to Jesus, Jesus, can you remember me? When you come to the kingdom of God, when you are there, he said, today you will be in is the Lord. It's today, immediate, like a Jacob. So whoever believers of Christ Jesus, they will take part like Jacob. And that is what the great privilege. So the bones rest in a coffin. And that's what we are seeing that Joseph's bones, they stayed and they were buried in the hope. So the faith given a hope According to Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1, the faith uh, gives that uh, a hope when the things are not 
seen. Praise God. Amen. So Jesus asked his disciples also same thing. Where is your faith? Then they were terrified in the storm. He said, why are you worried? Where is your faith? Can't you have a mustard seed of faith? So where is your faith? So that is what he was asking. So faith is very, very important to have a hope. So our faith, like Joseph's faith, he set my bones. He worried about the bones because for the resurrection and the rapture. And that is what we need, my dear friend. The resurrection, the first resurrection is for the believers. The second resurrection for unbelievers, for the white throne judgment. And that is what uh, uh, the believers, the hope which uh, Joseph's faith it gives, my dear friend. So we can see that Joseph, how the God gave the reassurance. And that is nothing but the glory of God. Our bones will rest in the glory of God for the first to face the first resurrection. Praise the Lord. So he gave that wonderful crown, we'll be getting it. Joseph's faith was there in that. We are going to receive that crown after the resurrection. And that's what we are seeing that uh, the Jesus Christ, Jesus, the uh, judgment seat of Christ. And there we are going to receive the great rewards, the crowns. That is the believers after the first resurrection, they are going to get that. So whoever believes in Christ Jesus, a great privilege, which Joseph's faith was thinking of that. And what a privilege, my dear friend. Joshua 1 5, it says that God said, Neither leave you nor forsake you. I'll be there with you. That hope God gave for us. And Joseph even realized about that. John 5.28 For the honor is coming in which all who are in graves will hear his voice. So Joseph realized that. Put my bones. Don't bury here in Egypt. But bury in where the thing going to be the promised land and where the his forefathers Abraham, Isaac and Jacob have been buried there. And today our hope also same thing. Let us be our bones buried in Christ Jesus so that we will be rest in peace in paradise and rise again when Christ comes. And that is the first resurrection. Praise God. And that is what Joseph. So Joseph he kept we see Jacob also at the time of dying, he kept, then he blessed, but he leaned upon the staff. And Joseph at the time of death, he said, take the bones and bury there. So whatever both desires are same, whereas Jacob immediately gone, Joseph after some time, after some time means after growth, after trial, slaveship, after deliverance, he reached. Same hope for every one of us, my dear friend. Praise God. In Christ Jesus, the church will be lifted first before the tribulation. Make sure that one, the first people reaching is who are in Christ Jesus. That is the privilege he has given. And what a wonderful God he is. So may God bless this. Let us bow down our heads and close our eyes. Gracious Heavenly Father, Almighty God, God of heavens and Lord of lords, King of kings, most high God. We thank you and praise you for the faith of Joseph, Father God. He kept master. God. He is worried about the bones to be buried in the promised land, in Jerusalem. So, I was also master. God, today you are speaking that uh, we are worried about our bones, saying nothing but we have to die in uh, Christ Jesus, without Christ, the death makes nothing. It will be for second resurrection for, as unbelievers. But believe in the name of Jesus Christ 
and be baptized and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And then you die physically. Doesn't matter. Because it gains to us as a Philippians 1.21. So we live for Christ. And the death gives a gain to us because we are going to face that first resurrection. Father God, make this Joseph's faith that are my bones that I must die in Christ Jesus. My bones to be buried in Christ. The place is not the matter here, but in Christ. Today, let everyone of whoever watching this video, every brother and sister and child, let them know that where I'm going to be buried means how Am I going to die in Christ or not? That is the question. Because that makes the great difference to face the first resurrection. And that first resurrection only for believers of Christ. Believers and fear of God. Right from Adam till the last person. All the fear of God, God's children will face the first resurrection. The rest is the second resurrection to face the consequences. Father God, bless every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And let the devil who are making a, a distraction and obstacles and hindrances, we rebuke the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And what a privilege, Father God. Our hope like Joseph's faith gave the hope in God. Our hope is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lamb of God. And the Lion of Judah. Father God we thank you and praise you. Our names whoever believe in Christ Jesus names will be written in the life book. And if we are out of God. Our names will be stricken off from that. And whoever names are not there in the life book, they will be thrown into the lake of fire. Father God, let us see growth and face the trials because you are with us and see the deliverance. Praise God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. May the love of our heavenly Father God be with us. And our gracious Lord Jesus Christ, our hope and the communion of the Holy Ghost be upon us now and forevermore. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Dear friends, it's a wonderful privilege seeing that Joseph's faith and that gives the hope that we will rise up again. As our first fruit of resurrection is Lord Jesus Christ. Same man, dear friend. So let God's people say, Amen and Amen. Praise God. May God bless you. See you next video. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.